San Jose, California, where explosives were allegedly found at the home of a man suspected of blowing up two electrical transformers. Police were at his home into the weekend, sifting through evidence. Those explosions left thousands without power in December and January. Authorities say these surveillance images and cell phone data led them to the suspect who was arrested earlier this week. Here's ABC's Zareen Shaw. Tonight, authorities are still combing through the home of a suspect who they say is responsible for blowing up two PG&E transformers in December and January, leaving thousands in the dark and cold. Not only is there explosive material here, there's chemicals used to manufacture narcotics. Deadly, deadly combination in a residential neighborhood. San Jose police and federal agents surrounded 36-year-old Peter Karasev's home on Wednesday, arresting and charging him with multiple counts, including arson, endangering or injuring the health of a child, exploding a destructive device, and destroying an electrical line. In a statement, PG&E says in part, it takes seriously the protection of critical infrastructure. Authorities track Harasev down after sifting through surveillance video and carefully tracing cell phone pings. They also say the software engineer and married father of three not only admitted to using meth, but also had an inactive meth lab in his home. I've never felt unsafe, but that kind of makes me a little nervous. Karasev's arrest comes on the heels of other reported substation attacks nationwide in the last three months. And that incident left tens of thousands of people in the cold and in the dark. As for Karasev, he's being held without bail. He will be back in court in late April. With Zareen Shah, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.